My name is Albert Wesker. I aspired to become a leading researcher at Umbrella Inc., a pharmaceutical enterprise who covertly conducted bioorganic weapons, better known as BOW, for development. But at the leader development training ground situated in Raccoon City, I met a brilliant and talented researcher who made me decide to take a different path. William Birkin. In time, I shifted my position to STARS, a special forces unit of the Raccoon Police Department. Umbrella for crisis management reasons of their illegal bioorganic weapons development had many of its people working in the police department. I became the leader of STARS and conducted all sorts of intelligence activities for Umbrella. As I continued to serve, I devised my own plans and waited for the right moment to execute them. Then at last, opportunity knocked. The freak murder incident that occurred in a forest near the mansion started it all. The mansion was Umbrella's secret bow laboratory, and it was clear that the in-development T-virus was the cause of the murder. Initially, Umbrella instructed me secretively to keep Stars out of the case. But, with the heightened emotions of the citizens, Stars had no choice but to move in. That's when my next order was given. Dispatch stars to the mansion, dispose of them, then report the situation to headquarters so that their combat with the bow could be used for data analysis, allowing Umbrella a comprehensive portrait of the bow's combat abilities. From the two stars teams, I first pitched in the Bravo team. As expected, the top elite of stars gave all they had and became useful sample data. Then following, I geared up the Alpha team to search and rescue the lost Bravo team. The members of the Alpha team also proved their worth, and as expected, many died. There were five survivors from the initial 11 STARS members. From the Alpha team were Chris Redfield, Jill Valentine, and Barry Burton. And from the Bravo team were Rebecca Chambers, and Enrico Marini. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. time to begin executing my plans. In the midst of the whole affair, I could take Umbrella's ultimate bioorganic weapon, the Tyrant, and join forces with an opposing corporation of Umbrella. To buy into that opposing corporation, I would need the actual combat data of the Tyrant. The surviving privileged members of STARS were just the perfect bait. I decided to have one of them play the Judas and draw them to the tyrant. 
that Judas was buried. Barry. Jill, got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Barry was the strong truth and justice kind and cherished his family more than anything. His type is easy to manipulate. I simply took that most important thing away from him. My only miscalculation was the high potential of Chris and Jill. But with the family man, Barry, playing the Judas, the scheme went as planned. Then the winds turned oh, unexpectedly. Barry? Thank God you're safe. A noise I heard brought me down here, but I didn't expect to find a place like this. Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive. Stop. Are you with anybody, Jill? No, but why? Finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up. <laughs> I had to eliminate Enrico, who found out what was behind it all. I used Barry to get to him. Traitor? Who? After I successfully got rid of that nuisance, I awaited the sample specimen that Barry would bring to me in the tyrant's room. Wesker! Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. Oh. Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <sighs> you're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Umbrella? Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seemed to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. I injected the virus I obtained from Birkin in advance. If I made Umbrella believe I was dead, it made it far more convenient to sell myself to the opposing corporation. According to Birkin, the virus had profound effects. It would put my body in a state of temporary death. It would then bring me back to life with superhuman powers. Therefore, I unleashed an awesome tyrant from its slumber and let it attack me. It's magnificent. As my consciousness faded away, I was certain that the whole scheme would end in success. Chris! You okay? Yeah. slay the evil creation. I lost the tyrant and the plan I devised which cost me my humanity ended in failure. Now, 
Anyone or anything that stood in my way would be terminated. It has been that way for a long time, and it always will be. At all costs, I had to make stars pay. Two months had passed since the mansion incident. To regain everything that I had lost in my new organization, I joined hands with Ada Wong, a female agent who was also sent to spy on Umbrella. Enough with this cat and mouse game. The game is over. You lost. Tell me, is your husband still alive? Or did you kill him? so you could take credit for G. Interesting theory. I knew in my bones that the key developer was William Birkin. But what he didn't know was that Umbrella did not God, play games dangerous. with no. anyone. Eventually, Birkin would be assassinated, and the G-Virus would be in the hands of Umbrella. Dr. Birkin, you'll come along with us quietly. You think I didn't know you were coming? This is my life's work. I'm not handing over anything. We have our orders, Dr. Birkin. I'll ask you one more time. Hold your fire! What the fuck were you thinking? Our orders were to bring him in alive. injected himself with the G-Virus. spread throughout Raccoon City, an umbrella faced its worst scenario. The 
good citizens became zombies, and the city had headed for its devastating fate. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town, you and me. In here! Europe applied a new type bow called right, Nemesis. Right, right, right. Get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my. Ah! also obtain the Nemesis data. Leon Kennedy, you are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop, too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. To cover up the whole affair, Umbrella jettisoned a tyrant to take care of Leon and Claire, who were trying to unveil their secrets. I'll make you a deal. Unlock this cell and I'll give you this. There's no other way out of that parking garage. Believe me. Sorry. I can't do that. I have to talk to the chief first. Look, we're both prisoners in this station. So either we play nice and help each other out. Or... Shit. It's coming. What? What's coming? Come on. Come on, don't be an asshole. Hey, you need this. Just get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> Oh my god. Are you sure? Yeah, I promise. Everything's fine. Will you help me find my mom? Your mom is down here? I think so. Then I a new so. revelation. Birkin used to hide the findings of his studies in his daughter Sherry's yeah. pendant. It was very possible that the G-Virus was there. While Umbrella was busy with their cover-up, we had to capture Sherry before they did. I sent Ada undercover to seek the location of Sherry. I, the dead man, on the other hand, had to work in the shadows. Hey! Who is that? Stay sharp!
Lower it. FBI. Sorry. Thank you. For your help. Surprised you made it this far. Ada, where are you? Over here! A spy's obligation and priority is a mission. To carry out the mission like a machine without any emotional interference. I can't get it out. I don't know if I should die. Just do it. I can't walk like this. Okay. It's gonna hurt. But through her interaction and involvement with Leon S. Kennedy, there had been an affection growing inside her. My instinct sensed danger. Something had to be done. Quickly. My instincts did not disappoint me. I was just thinking about you. That makes two of us. I was getting worried. You know, we make a good team. I gotta ask you something. Way's clear. Please, tell me you got it. Oh, I got it. Let me verify the G sample when we get the hell out of here. Before we do that, I ran into Annette. And she claims you're not FBI. Why couldn't you just hand over the sample? As I realized, as much as I wanted to trust you, I didn't. I really hoped it wouldn't end up like this. So that's all this was? I was just some pawn to you? Look, I'm just doing my job. And I'm doing mine, so drop that damn gun! I'm taking you in. Hand over the sample, Leon. I don't want to hurt you. You shoot me. But I don't think you can. But she was still of some use. I had to save her life. Take care of yourself, Leon. My people hurried to retrieve the G-Virus that Leon threw away. But Hunk, the only survivor of Umbrella's salvage team, was there before us. This is Nighthawk. Come in, Alpha. Alpha, do you read? Nighthawk, this is Hunk from Alpha Team. Man, I thought you were all wiped out. left was to bring back Birkin, the monster, as the sample specimen, and finish off Leon and Claire in order to obtain his combat data. Leon and Claire, we succeeded in gathering samples of the G-Virus from his dead body.
not going to stop. Promised you this, didn't I? No! Do you have any idea what you've just done? No, no. Don't care. My client ordered me to reduce umbrella to rub. Ten minutes until missile ah. impact. The missile has launched. And that is my duty. Goodbye, Miss Valentine. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. government bombed Raccoon City in an attempt to stop further viral outbreak. This was, of course, their feigned reason. forces with an underground anti-umbrella organization. Sherry is safe in our hands. I would never underestimate Birkin. There's something about this little girl. <laughs> 